to tell you a little bit about our organization. My name is Gina Caruso. I'm managing director. And um, we have these wonderful events, these cine salons, every Monday, first Monday of every month. So next Monday of the next Monday we have in June, uh, a filmmaker named Dean Storm is going to do the hosting of a action cine salon. So all the films will be about action. So for those of you who are really interested in that or you know somebody who is, um, please bring them. It's really nice to see everyone here tonight. And I also wanted to tell you just a, a couple things before we introduce our wonderful host, Grouse Hopper, the filmmaker. Um, he, is, he is fabulous, and I'll tell you about him in a minute. Um, I also wanted to let you um, know that we have all kinds of workshops. Um, we have a film networking event. It's on May 20th, Monday, Chris Reed. And he is the head of the film department at Stevenson University. And he's really smart, and he's going to be getting together with people who are in film production. So it's a really good chance for you to network with other filmmakers, with people who are in film production, and get to know each other, and um, get to know Chris Reed, because he's, he's just terrific. Um, there are all kinds of film events, music events, so pick up this newsletter and just to tell you a little bit more about Creative Lions, since you haven't been here, we have Globe Poster Exhibition out there in our main gallery and we have a gallery upstairs and the Globe Poster Exhibition, how many of you guys know about Globe Posters? Used to be here in our neighborhood and they were the posters that um, promoted all the blues, rhythm and blues. Um, James Brown, for example, was a musician who was promoted by Globe Posters. Um, and they promoted almost exclusively, but not always, but almost exclusively African American artists. And they were right here in Highland Town. And we have that exhibit here in our main gallery. We also have artists in residence who live here. So for those of you who are interested in ever maybe having a residency, we have eight artists in residence who work here and live here, and they exhibit their work here. And some of their work here is up in our restaurant, which, by the way, our restaurant is open Thursdays and Sundays. Sunday brunch is fabulous. I recommend that you all come here and have food, and just please come back. We're really happy that you're here. And now I want to introduce our wonderful host. Where is he? Grasshopper. 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 Maker of the film called Waterboy, and he's been here many times, and we really, really respect him, and we're really happy he's here. Thank you, Grasshopper. Thank you very much. So this is the stage I step onto. Um, I'm sorry that it looks so lavish, like you really had to order dinner and stuff. This is a music video showcase, so um, feel free to sit here, though. You don't have to eat any dinner or, you know, order anything. But this is a music uh, video showcase. I have a couple of filmmakers who brought some music videos in. Alice Brennan, his video right there. Hopefully we can see that one. Put pressure on you. Uh, this is the Sims Salon. At the, how are we going to do We have each filmmaker tell a little bit about their video. Very briefly, we're going to show a video and then probably, you know, ask a couple of questions, then we move on to the next video. And that's how it's going to work. We have one, two, three, four, four filmmakers here that will show some work. Um, so feel free to critique, ask questions, and things as such. My first piece is going to be about me. Um, I don't know what I'm going to show. I'm going to show, uh, I'll show uh, Prince Any Girl. Now we're going to have uh, Kelly Vision Productions. Um, I did this video for my cousin, last born child. It's called Mentality. He's back there in uh, the corner. <laughs> um, the concept of the video is uh, during his dream, um, he comes up with the concept of his rap, his, his, his lyrics. He wakes up and realizes that. Um, he came up with a masterpiece. So. It fit in because it was a dream. 
So I didn't have to act, you know, make it look like reality, like certain things, you know, actually happen. So um, I just love doing effects at this point. I just learned how to do it, so it's like went crazy with it. You know what I mean? So that's, that's probably big. Good job. Good job. <laughs> You said that th this was your first video? Yeah. Man, that was excellent, man. Yeah. Uh, first job. So hopefully I can do more. Oh, my man. I don't have a question, but I got a comment. It's like a lyrical assassin. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I mean, um, it's you, you brought to the table what a lot of rappers are missing today. You know, no hope. Like you said, um, you could crush they topic. Money, cars, and I forget the other one, but that's that old feel, and that's that's the type of rap I like to listen to right there. You know, definitely. It took about three, four months to actually shoot it, edit, and it was just like, you know, this is a place that people ride past all the time, but everybody don't really know what it's like down there. When we were down there, we saw two days getting to yeah, a. That was uh, crazy. Uh, uh, a, a Meet all out battle. <laughs> <laughs> Two did like bucks. They were down there just going at it. Yeah. I grabbed my equipment and ran. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was showing up. So, this is your first video. Like, what do you, what do you feel like you learned? Like, any advice you give? Um, the pacing, um, editing, special effects, um, have patience is the main thing. I'm not trying to rush it. Just make sure you put out good quality work instead of rushing it, you know what I'm saying? That's the main thing. So. All right. Well, there's no more questions. We're going to have it. I have uh, some people, they would say, what you mean by Merlin credit? And it's just basically like the stigma that we have because we got some of the best credit because of the Chesapeake Bay and all that type of stuff is the crab in the barrel mentality. So, um, it was just on my heart to do a song about that in hopes that I could help it kind of change the situation. But the video will kind of give some explanation, so it kind of helped to answer some people's questions about it as well. So, Vaughn Vargas, my latest album, World Famous Lex in the Market. You, you. <laughs> a song you, you. called Merlin Crabs. All right. How was it getting all those people organized to be in certain locations at certain times? That can be hard sometimes. It, it, can, like it can be. It actually was easy this time. I feel like the, when you have other people involved in what you're doing, then the further the word gets about you know your vision and stuff like that. So I think everybody who came out, they was excited because they saw a piece of it mm -hmm. before it was finished. And once they saw the piece, it was like everybody was on board. And lately, we I just finished it this week. It just uh, aired um, Friday. Because um, now I'm putting my videos on Vivo. And the Vivo platform allows you to get paid for every view that you get. So um, once it aired, it, like, it started skyrocketing. And a lot of people been telling me, whenever the next one, I'd love to be a part. And that was a problem I always had. Like, won't you be a part of this video? And people will be like, no, nah, they weren't feeling it, you know? Mm -hmm. So now I've been getting a lot of people wanting to be a part of this. Well. How do you feel about touring, man? Oh, I'm trying to tour. I'm trying, that's why I'm working, I'm doing my, we're trying to put out some hot visuals so it can kind of um, allow us to go other places and. You know I mean? It's a necessity. Yeah. And not, and I'm just gonna give you uh, props for that though. Oh, thank you. The song, the whole, the whole thing, the whole idea. It's very, it's very artistic, and it's it's, it's, it's very respectful. Thanks, man. It was real easy because it's just like this growing up in West Baltimore. You know, Lexington Terrace, Lexington Street. Like you see, <laughs> you 
see so much, you see so much going on, and it's like it's so much easy to be able to convey your ideas because it's Merlin Crab, that title, you can do so much with it. I actually had one scene that I couldn't shoot because I had so much footage. And um, I would have loved to get that scene, but um Oh man. Well the scene was actually uh I wanted to get a, a, a eye view of um a, a young boy riding a bicycle. And the way I would have did it was I would have got on the bike the bike had the camera on me and rode the bike and put the bike down, but after putting the bike down, then got him getting off the bike and going in the store. That's why I take his bike. Exactly. <laughs> or somebody hopped on his bike and bounced and he came out and his bike was gone. Sound like you need to do a remix. <laughs> the next film maker coming up is uh, this is about uh, every girl is not ex exactly who you think they're going to be so you know this is a video for it so just check it out Did your all white scene? Did you do that? Uh, where, where did you do it, and how did you do it? Uh, they, they had a white site in Virginia. It's a place in Virginia by what was it uh, National Harbor? This place called Union Two Hundred Six. And actually, what I did was part. It was partially white, and I just did After Effects and masked the other parts out to make it more white. Okay. I had like footprints because you know people got dirty feet, and uh, I had to mask all that out mm. and clean it up and post. But I just did, like partial white because if you were to see on the sides. Um, I had a, it was like you could see everything else, like the door and everything, but I just kind of made it where you couldn't see all that. It's a white site, so. So it wasn't green screen, it was. No, that was a white site, where, okay. you know, the wall, like infinity wall. Yeah. That's what yeah. that was. They did a partial one and just threw it in the rest. It was nice. Yeah. Yes, sir. Did you get some of the idea from that video from old Mickey? Absolutely. Oh yeah, okay. yeah. Well, you know, we had a, we had a post we had a post production meeting about that, right? And that was the beat they wanted to use. So I, I was like, well, let's go with the thing. They put up the money for it to get the outfits, right? And um, trying to it's like an homage to that video. That's old school. That's Absolutely. Right. Yeah, I like that. Any other questions, concerns? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. uh, all right. Hi. Right. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. That Final Cut Pro, but now I use Premiere. Um, okay. Yeah. And uh, this is a classic beat. This is um, from Crew. I'm gonna cover the group Crew back in the day. You know, well you'll you recognize the beat. And this is a, a, a heist video that we did. And check it out. I didn't know they were gonna show this, but check this out. I said that's on because I worked at Fox 45. So, and I, you know, that's if I could take anything about, you know, filmmaking and doing all these music videos, just use your resources. Miranda Stevens, a reporter, which used to be a reporter at Fox 45, I used her. I used my building at my job. I used, like, all the resources I had to make a video. And, um, and that's how news is a lot of times reported. You know, we don't necessarily get the whole story, or we get a lot of it wrong. So, that's where that all came from. Yeah. And the questions, concerns, questions. All right, thank you. <laughs> Uh, the name of the, actually the name of the, uh, the music video is called Holler at Your Boy. Um, all this is, uh, the guy Ratchet Rush. Um, give it up for Ratchet Rush. <laughs> I mean, if it come on through, I don't know. I, I mean, I'll be honest with you. Someone gave me a phone call the other day and asked me, can I push up the deadline? So I push it up. I actually just finished the video probably like an hour ago. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and I actually, after that, I, I know I've I seen one flaw in the video already when I looked at it here. So. It's a nice video. <laughs> 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 
Casting calls, looking for some actors, cinematographers. Now it's the time. Yes, Dean. Hey, um, just want to listen to everyone about the steps for I'm doing. It's called 29 Days Later. Right. Uh, you have 29 days to make a movie. Um, there's like over a thousand dollars in cash and prizes. Um, Grasshopper was in it last year. Did a great, made a great movie. Um, movies are like five to seven minutes, or I'm sorry, seven to eight minutes. So. I just have some little flyers here if anyone's interested. Um, check it out at 29dayslater.com. Thanks. Uh, Dante Gomez or DJ Wildout. I um, actually got a movie called Jumping from Space. It's a movie based off of like a, a Baltimore version of a Friday Pineapple Express half beat comedy. It's actually um, a two and a half hour movie that comes uh, with a soundtrack that you can play at party, so like if you had a DVD, you could put it in there and just let it play, and it'll be a two and a half hour music soundtrack because I'm a DJ. And then you have the option of watching it with the soundtrack. So um, I came in prepared, but as far as casting calls and everything, I am looking for just funny individuals. You can write your own script. Um, payment wise, we're going to try to set up a Twitter account, and while you're actually on the screen, your Twitter feed is posted at the bottom. During the movie, if you get the most Twitter accounts, it might be a prize for like, you know, during the premiere, it might be a prize for like $1,000 or something like that, depending on the, um, the promotional parties we're having. The release date is May the 21st. I'm aiming for movies 10, our race point mall, and then one up in Boston if possible, and then one in Atlanta if possible. Uh, if not, it's going to be a lot of private premiere casting and um, premiere movie soundtrack showing. Each and every Wednesday at Oakley Station, which is up on um, the OTV is up at Prime Parkway. It starts at 7 o'clock, but well, actually 9 o'clock at Full League. So I don't have any cards, but I get your information to leave mine for everybody else. Mm -hmm. And shout out to um, the Alan Ratchet for that video right there. So. Uh, Television Production.